G'day guys, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines, and I have snuck in to BLA's trade show down here at Manly in southeast Queensland. And I've come in here today with a real theme. I want to talk about batteries and uh, electrical systems in your boat because it's becoming an increasingly confusing environment. Now, there's a whole lot of cool gear on the inside there, but outside, we've got PLA's training boat here and it's it as you would expect is packed full all of the latest and greatest Humminbird, Canon, uh, Talon, all of the electrical gear this runs is staggering. This boat actually runs four batteries in it. Uh, it has a house battery, a cranking battery for the motor, it has a second house battery to help run all of the electric gear and it's got a couple of big AGM uh, gel batteries to run that big Min Coder on the front of the boat. Now if you've got a boat that's got electric power and has got batteries in it, it's likely that they're a lead acid style battery. And you'll know the lead acid battery because you've picked it up. It's really, really heavy, um, but they're relatively cheap on the spectrum of, of batteries on the market. The lead acid, the AGM batteries are at the lower end of the price point. So you've probably got them in your boat and you probably do the battery charging shuffle when you get home. Um, you might have a 12 volt system for your, um, for your sounders, for cranking your outboard motor over. You might have a 24 volt system to run something like your electric motor and you have to run multiple charges to do it. One of the cool things that you can do to your boat to help improve it is to put an onboard charger on. Now I've got here one of the Pro Mariner onboard chargers. It's a 20 amp three bank charger and it's fully waterproof. Now let me explain what that means to you. 20 amps per bank for three banks means that I've got three wires out here that'll charge three separate batteries and it'll put the voltage in at 20 amps. So if you've got a 100 amp hour battery and it's nearly dead flat, it takes four or five hours and this will bring it straight back up to full charge. Chances are though, the battery only needs a bit of a top up and it'll do it less than that. But the really cool thing for me is, this battery charger will sit under the deck of your boat. There'll be one little power cord hanging out. You plug it into your 240 volt power at home, your AC power, and it will charge those DC batteries without you lifting a finger. How does it do it? Well, it's smart. It sniffs the fact that, uh, that this battery might need a big hit, those two might need a top up, and it gives every battery exactly the voltage it needs to get it charged as quickly as possible. But then, when it gets up near its full charge, it drops down to a trickle charge, and it will just top it up and maintain the battery properly. If you want to leave your boat charging in your garage all year, it has a maintenance mode, where once a month it'll turn on, give it a little bit of a tap up, and keep those batteries uh, exactly in the right condition for you to go out and go fishing. Now, the other thing that you may have heard about in the, uh, in the environment nowadays are lithium batteries. Lithium batteries, they're like this. They weigh virtually nothing. You can shed lots and lots of weight out of your boat to do it. Typically, this boat would have 150 kilos worth of batteries in it. You can nearly get that down to a fifth of that weight. We're gonna sneak inside here now and take a look at Invicta master vault and lithium battery systems for your boat. So we've snuck inside here now at the BLA trade show and as you can see there's some cool gear all over this joint. Uh, Hands-on samples of the new and exciting gear the BLA do. Uh, but the one we're going to talk about right now are the Invicta lithium batteries. Now let's take it right back to basics. For me, lithium batteries are all about several things, and the first one of them is reducing the weight in your boat. Um, there are several ways to improve your boat's performance. You can spend lots of money on hulls and outboards and upgrading horsepower and all that sort of stuff. For me, the best way to improve in performance is to throw out 100 kilos of weight from your boat. And uh, the example I give here, that BLA boat outside there probably has 150 kilos of lead acid batteries powering all of its cool electronics about a fifth of that weight it goes to if you repower with lithium. So 150 kilos of lead acid batteries out, 30 kilos of lithium batteries in, and you have an even better voltage range and better capacity than you had before. So you get those performance advantages of pulling them out. Secondly, lithium batteries have a, a much longer life cycle and work cycle than a lead acid battery. These ones are guaranteed to have eight times the, work, the number of charges and discharges as a standard lead acid battery. So when you're comparing the cost of lithium versus lead acid, they might be two or three times the price, but they may last for eight times as long. So if you're into looking after your gear and using it for a decade, maybe the lithium battery is actually the cheaper option. Now the third point, and this is a more technical point, and you can read about it uh, in the article in Fishing Monthly magazines, we've got the link down below, below there. Uh, it's the voltage 
well, while they're discharging. So a standard lead acid battery will discharge and as it discharges, the voltage actually goes down and it gets to a point where once it gets down to 10 and a half, 11 and a half volts for a 12 volt battery, your electronics start beeping at you. Uh, you don't get that snappy performance that you get off your Minn Kota at the front of the boat that you used to get. You can actually feel that battery draining and it's sort of nowhere near its entire capacity. The lithium charge stays high for at least 80% of that discharge curve. So that snappy feel you get on your Minn Kota when you touch it first thing in the morning with the lead acid battery, you get that all day with the lithium. It feels like it's just come off the charger. Um, and I think that's an important thing. The, the amount and the load of electronics we have at the moment, they are all happy with a voltage which is up there. Um, Next, a cool thing about these Invicta batteries is the fact that you can get an app on your phone which gives you all of the important uh, uh, battery data that you need. I'm going to run some screenshots here on the side, but you can see that uh, on this battery, I can see that this is at 74% at the moment. It's talking to the 12 volt um, 50 amp hour at the moment. So that battery there, it's at 74% charge. It's on standby. It's got 13.3 volts output and a 54 amp hour capacity in it. Pretty good because it's only a 50 amp hour battery. Um, and it's even got a little smiley face they're saying it's pretty healthy. Um, it's got other pages on it which tells you the temperature of the battery, if there's been any errors on the battery. That complete battery management system comes free, it'll run on your smartphone and it lets you know exactly the state of your battery. That's pretty cool when say you're doing a trip, uh, you might be down on Hins Dam and you're going to run 10 kilometres to a spot. You don't want to use 80% of your battery charge going one way and be stuck halfway there. All of that information is at hand for you. Now we all know that Minn Kota electric motors are the most prevalent in Australia and the good news is that BLA recommends these Invicta lithiums for those motors. Um, other questions I get asked a lot about lithium batteries are what about charging systems? And it's right, you can't just go and get your $20 super cheap charger and plug it onto your lithium battery. You need some smart technology to do it. You need a good charger. Let's have a look at what BLA has. So I've got my uh, favourite little 12-volt uh, Invicta lithium battery here and look, it doesn't matter whether it's upside down or the right way up, there's no lead, there's no acid in there to, to get in my road. And I'm going to look at some of the charging options that BLA has and uh, their main charger brand, MasterVolt. Now that 12-volt system is going to power their most popular 12-volt uh, Minn Kota motors and this little bad boy is going to be the charger that they sell for and it costs under $200 retail. Um, it's waterproof and it will knock these things up overnight. So they are perfectly charged again for you in the morning. So it's very important to have a lithium specific charger that has got the right specs to charge up these uh, lithium batteries. You can't just do it with your $20 super cheap charger you bought to uh, charge your car that went, went flat the other day. So keep an eye out for that one. That's the small master vault. Master vault do however make some 12, 12 and 24 volt options that can be garage mounted. So if you're into uh, getting your system back up to speed quickly, throw one of these bad boys on the uh, garage wall, run a cord to your boat and that uh, this one here 24 volt 30 amps, this one here 12 volt 25 amps, um, that will get your lithium battery up to speed in minutes if not hours. But the really cool technology which is coming out in this space are the DC to DC chargers. Now you can get them in 12 volt to 12 volt, 12 to 24 and 12 to 36 and it replaces that old voltage sensitive relay technology we used to use. Some of us used to have a voltage sensitive relay which when as soon as your cranking battery got charged, it diverted that power, 12 volt, to, uh, to your electric motor battery. Um, not really many brains involved with it. This, however, is like having a 12 volt powered smart charger doing the job for you on your boat. So if you've got a 24 volt system and you want to take advantage of the excess alternator power from your motor, this is going to do it. So it can take the 12 volt, convert it to 24 volt and in a clever way make sure those ba batteries, lithium or otherwise, are perfectly charged on your boat. And of course the end point of this game is, hey, maybe we can have a boat which we never have to plug into a shore charger again. We can use the power on board and fish indefinitely. Now for all of the information on Pro Mariner, Invicta and Master Vault, make sure you visit www.bla.com.au.